Hey fellow stock guardians, happy Thursday, July 15th, 2021. I'm Hora, stock car CEO, reporting to you from a mixed stock market once again. Today I reviewed the market indices movements, looked into whether AMC stocks short squeeze is over, and wrapped up with a watch list for meme stocks to buy now despite the possible volatility. The stock market indices ended the day mixed with only the Dow finishing in the green. 18 companies in the S&P 500 this week beat analyst earnings expectations, yet the index was still not able to beat its previous record. A slightly weaker than expected Chinese GDP may have given investors the indication of a slower global recovery in the rest of the world. It's time for my usual shout out to all of you stock guardians before continuing to today's stock analysis. Thank you for watching, reading, and listening to the Daily Market Recap reports every day. We are building the best stock market research and a stock picking platform for you. So if you aren't a subscriber, hit the like button and subscribe to the show. Or better yet, create a free account on stockcart.io to get the daily market recap reports. Folks, an interesting question came through our private Facebook community the other day that I want to dedicate today's episode to discussing with you. A fellow stock guardian asked, is the AMC short squeeze over? To answer the question, let's step back for a second. 2021 has been quite an interesting year in the stock market, and the rise of meme stocks is definitely part of it all. Reddit forum Wall Street Bets began the meme mania with GameStop, ticker GME, and it has since spread to other companies. If you've been paying attention to headlines, AMC Entertainment, ticker AMC, has been the other favorite stock of retail traders, banking on hype and short interest. Unfortunately, as time has gone on, things haven't panned out quite as cleanly. On Wednesday, for example, AMC's share price dropped 15%, bringing it down to half the price of its record high only a few weeks before. Let's take a deeper look into this stock to find out where it might be headed. The mythical short squeeze was the goal of many recent meme stocks, AMC included, hoping to capitalize off of cheap and heavily shorted stocks. Retail traders piled on to push the stock price high enough to trigger the so-called short squeeze. This is the point when institutional investors who have bet against the stock have to buy the shares at the new and higher price to cover their short bets. That consecutively drives the stock price further up. But the strategy seems to not be working anymore. Let's explore three big factors that need to be considered. Institutions. It seems that many of the larger firms refuse to let go, so investors are left with more ground to cover still. Short percentage. Currently, the volume of a stock shorted comes out to about 15%, which is abnormally high, but not a ticking time bomb like GameStop, which was over 100% shorted. Price trend. If I held a short position right now, like the hedge funds betting against AMC, I wouldn't be stressing too much, it's been trending downward all months and some volatility today and yesterday, even dropping through the previous big dip of $42.80. From my perspective, the odds are high that the boat has already sailed if you were wanting to benefit from the short squeeze excitement. The pressure on short sellers to cover their positions fades by the day and I'm not sure if AMC can gather enough steam to break out into new highs. The only wild card here is exciting news. For example, if AMC manages to partner with a large corporation or some new large investor comes in to invest or buy the company. So the short squeeze probability is low, but you never know whether a wild card is around the corner or not. For full transparency, I have some shares of AMC, which I bought at around $15 per share, and I'm still holding just to have a stake in this phenomena. We can talk about a stock and not do fundamental analysis. If you were considering owning AMC stock for the long run, here's a cautious reminder that analysts are giving out a price target of 5 and 25 cents. 
under the fair share price estimate tab on its stock card. Investors and hedge funds alike recognize that the current price is not sustainable or reflective of the real value in the company. This might not matter in the short term when emotions are running high, but over time, it's inevitable that it will cool down and revert back to a realistic price. To understand why analyst price target is so low, let's do some stock analysis. I headed to AMC's stock card again. Under the company's operational section, I'm cautious about how long AMC can hold and fund its operations. I noticed the debt situation. Clicking on cash availability gives me more in-depth data. Its debt to equity ratio and debt affordability ratio are both quite poor. Clicking into profitability raises another red flag. The company's earnings per shares are terrible as well. The management is aware of this hole it is in, but is still crafting a strategy to climb out. One of those strategies included being able to raise capital by selling 25 million more shares, but this move was voted down by current shareholders. So the strategy for AMC is a bet on a possible white card, like a possible good piece of news that changes the current trend, that's all. There is no fundamental to support the stock and the short squeeze probability is low based on measurable information. I would be wary of entering into the stock this late in the game. Let's wrap up discussing the best way you can find other potential meme stocks that are actually worth buying now. I told you last week about the launch of the potential meme stocks on the stock card. Type in meme stocks in the search bar and get the full list of almost 300 companies. We created the meme collection for you so you know why some stocks fluctuate so rapidly and also use the list to find some good investments. Just because something is a meme stock, it isn't a bad company. So I go to the screener page, create a new filter, and add meme stock collection. Filter the list for stocks with high growth potential, a strong sales growth, and no cash concerns. Those are some of the indicators that a growth of stock can keep growing despite the high volatility that comes with a possible short squeeze. Click apply and voila, a list of 22 meme stocks worth buying now. This is of course the starting point, add your own criteria and get the final list. I'll save my watch list for you and leave a link in the show notes. That's it for today. If you haven't already done so, please give a stock card a try, research as many stocks and ETFs as you want, and consider following a few successful investors by visiting the Stock Picks page on a stock card platform. Don't forget to sign up for a 14-day free trial with promo code ROLLWITHRCEO, all lowercase and in one word. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these market recap reports with your fellow investors and come back tomorrow for another episode of the Daily Market Recap. See you then.